this is really good lighting like really good yeah that just happened you're killing my video wow i get exhausted just talking so let's go baby hospital bag what i'm taking and why hi everyone i am so excited to finally start adding more videos um i feel like since i got pregnant i kind of like slacked a little bit but i've been all over the place but i'm back so that's the most important part i am freaking back i want to start off by saying that i have no idea what the hell i'm doing no clue i don't know what the hell i'm doing this video is just like i don't even know like i put stuff together from other youtube videos that i've seen and things that i think i would need but i want to start off by being very clear i have no idea what i'm doing this is my first baby and i just rather be safe than sorry i will probably end up doing another video of saying what i actually did use and what i didn't use um out of my baby hospital bag but yeah let's see let's give this a shot So I am here actually in my baby room. This is my favorite corner of the entire room. I will show you guys in another video. I will do a little baby room like tour type of thing. But I want to record from here mainly because it has really good lighting. So yes, that's that. So I'm going to start off by saying probably overpacking, definitely overpacking. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys that I packed are PJs. PJs for me to use in the hospital. I obviously don't want to look like a crazy person. Although I may feel like one and my face and hair might be a disaster. Um, I don't want my PJ to be inappropriate for anyone that's going to come visit. Um, so I definitely packed some cute little PJs that I like a long shirt slash dress and it's super easy to open up for nursing so this is definitely going to come in handy and is super super soft i'm going to link everything down below if you're interested go ahead girl pack your bag buy your pjs do your thing pretty much i packed three pjs for me might be a lot it's probably a lot it's definitely a lot I'm also packing adult diapers yeah you won't see me rocking that mesh ugly underwear with a huge pad that's almost to my freaking back yeah I've seen that way too many times and that's not gonna happen so I'm taking a few um, adult diapers that I don't I know that they don't have like cute ones these are from always I got it on Amazon because I'm lazy and I don't like to go anywhere so Amazon is my go-to. This is a must, guys. I saw in every other video that this is a must. Adult diaper. Get it. Okay, I'm taking a little makeup bag. Um, I'm only taking basic stuff. I don't really wear makeup. I'm kind of like too extreme. I'm either like full-on drag queen when I'm going out or just like plain Jane. That's it. So I'm taking a little makeup bag just with like under eye concealer eyebrows because i don't go anywhere without eyebrows and mascara that's pretty much it that's all i'm packing on my little makeup bag um i'm probably going to be so busy that i'm not gonna put on makeup but you never know probably after labor i'm definitely going to need this so i don't look crazy so makeup bag is definitely part of my hospital bag i saw somewhere um somebody saying that definitely take socks i kind of die of heat anywhere no matter where i am i'm always freaking hot but i am taking some socks because i have tiny feet so anything i remember once i was in the hospital or emergency room and they gave me socks and they're freaking huge on me i have tiny 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 feet i am taking socks like um non-slippery socks that's what they told they told me to get so i'm only taking one pair because i probably won't even use them and if i do i got them i'm taking underwear please look at this underwear this is actually not bad 
it's not bad it's like high-waisted stretchy like spandex type of underwear um i will probably be wearing the diaper adult diaper thing but you never know maybe i get lucky and i'm not like dying but i'm packing like two underwears and also a bra okay like an easy breastfeeding bra I'm lying, I did not get any breastfeeding bras. I feel like my bras are fine. We'll see about that. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I feel like um, breastfeeding bras are so ugly, like not cute at all. So I just got like my regular bras, like it's just like easy, in, out, let's go. So I packed one bra, two underwear, and one pair of socks in this little bag. So one thing I am definitely planning on doing is using a girdle. I think that's how you pronounce it. In Spanish, we say faja. I don't know if it's because I'm Venezuelan, Hispanics, I don't freaking know, but we must wear a faja. Yes, we wear fajas for freaking everything, no matter how skinny or whatever you are. So definitely, I got a little um, girdle of Amazon. It's super stretchy. It's like a pull-up type of faja, girdle, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, so I just got this one off Amazon. It was only $13, so super cheap, very stretchy, but I still got a size extra small because the second I popped that baby out, girl, you know I'm going to be putting this on, okay? So another thing on my hospital bag is my going home outfit. I have no idea how I'm going to feel, how I'm going to look, no clue. So I'm definitely going for like a loose type of outfit. I packed a long um, maxi dress that's super loose with a cute scarf because you know, I don't know, you kinda, I kinda wanna look cute. And also, up, I packed uh, a cute romper. If I fit in this romper, I'm definitely going to wear the romper just because I'm more comfortable in romper. I don't want to be all loose. I don't know. After having a baby, I don't know. But I don't know how I'm going to feel. So I'm packing two going home outfits. Completely unnecessary. Don't do that. <laughs> just pack something that you know you're going to be comfortable in. But I'm probably going to end up wearing just a maxi dress. Sandals, definitely packing sandals. Um, some of my friends have told me that they let you shower there. Um, I would definitely like to shower there. I don't know if I'm going to shower there, but just in case I'm packing um, a pair of sandals. Another thing in my hospital bag is my baby's clothes. Um, I am packing four different outfits. I don't know how big he's going to be. I don't know if he's going to fit in anything. I know babies that are tiny, tiny, tiny and they fit, they're like full term and they fit on like, um, what's it called? They fit on like preemie clothing. I don't know if my baby's going to be little or big or whatever is the case, but it's definitely a must have. Definitely take clothes for your baby. You don't want him in that hospital stuff. At least I know I don't. Classifiers, I'm taking two. Definitely, I don't need this. But whatever, I'm taking it. It makes me feel comfortable taking it. So I'm taking two pacifiers. I have no idea which one he's going to like. So I'm taking these two. Another thing I'm taking for the baby are blankets. So I can swaddle my baby in their his own cute little blanket, okay? So, okay, I'm taking this huge bathroom toilet tree is that how you pronounce it i have no idea um for me which includes dry shampoo deodorant face wash perfume well not perfume just like something to smell a little bit good not too much for the baby um nipple cream nipple pads i don't know <laughs> They're so freaking weird. I don't know what the hell these things are, like how these things are. Toothbrush, um, toothpaste, mouthwash, and all the goods. Last three items, I promise, guys, is a towel in case they let me shower there. I don't want to use anyone's weird towel. I'm taking my own. My pillow with my silk cover because of my hair. I love my hair so much and I wanna be comfortable if I'm going to be there delivering for hours. So definitely taking my pillow with my silk cover and a blanket for me and a blanket for dad, okay? 
Um, they tell me that it gets really cold. I mean, if you've been to a hospital for whatever reason, you know it gets cold. So a blanket for me to feel comfortable more at home and a blanket for dad. Um, one thing I forgot to mention that I don't have because dad likes to procrastinate, okay? Yeah, that's another fun fact. Um, I am taking two changes of clothes um, or two shirts, whatever the case is, um, for dad, for my husband. <laughs> so I'm taking two change of clothes for him um, for the hospital because he will probably just stay with me the entire time because I'm needy and I need him there. So um, he'll probably be there the whole entire time until we get out of the hospital. So obviously a change of clothes for him would be good. I think that covers pretty much everything I'm taking. Like I said, I am probably most definitely overpacking stuff, um, but everything fits in a carry-on. I already put everything in a carry-on except the pillow. Obviously the pillow doesn't fit in a carry-on, but these are all things that people that I know told me I, sh I would probably need to make me feel more comfortable um, or things I want to take, <laughs> to be completely honest. Um, let's see how it really goes. I'll definitely give you guys an update of things that I actually did use. Um, other than that, I'm going to link everything below where I got everything, what everything is, in case you're interested in getting that. Delivery is unpredictable. You never know what's going to happen. Your delivery doesn't compare to anyone else's. So honestly, I feel like just take whatever makes you feel comfortable. Other than that, girls, thank you so much for watching the video. Like I said, these are just things that I'm, I'm personally taking that makes me feel comfortable and a peace of mind. I'm a first time mom, so I have no freaking clue what the hell I'm doing. Um, what I'm taking, what to expect, I have no freaking clue. So these are just items that I want to take. And other than that, thank you so much for watching my video. Stay posted for all the other videos that I'm going to be showing you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you all.